What is this? UV shrooms? Consuming UV shrooms restores part of your immunity. Nice. You gotta be on the lookout for those boys. Lavender. Poppy. Lavender. Let's uh, continue scanning. I see something in the back. There. Chamomile. Love it. Uh, let's try to get back in here. Resin. Cordyceps. Here. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. Binoculars. Binoculars. Binoculars allow you to discover important open world locations. And hold left on the D-pad. Press R3 to use them. Watch the reticle in the center. Screen closely. It gets smaller the closer to the location that can be discovered. Locations discovered by binoculars can automatically be added to your map. You see the church? That's where the Howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. That church? Uh-huh. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. You've unlocked the open world zoom level. Okay, so we're in a hound field. We're right on the edge of Trinity. You've unlocked the open world zoom level of your map. All open world activities you discover using the binoculars or during exploration will be visible here. Hound field, Trinity, Horseshoe, Quarry End. Downtown, The Wharf, New Dawn Park, Money Grounds. Damn, this map is big. Okay. Okay, so we've scouted the bazaar. Um, okay, we already knew a safe zone. We've scouted the Alder Windmill. Built by the Night Runners soon after the end of the Civil War in 2025 using old furniture and other scrap. When operationally can provide power to a small settlement. And this, Pumpkin Farm Settlements. Pumpkin farms are where people grow, process, and package pumpkins, which have shown extraordinary resilience against the effects of THV Gen Mod. They might also host specific survivors needing aid and services. Welcome to Villador. You unlock the open world of Villador. The first goal is to visit Survivor's Hub, the Bazaar. You'll have a merchant resting place in your stash there. Use binoculars and survey the area to reveal additional locations on the map, like windmills, which activate new safe zones. There are plenty of places like these in the city waiting for you to discover them. As you explore the world, watch your compass for encounters. They offer you a chance to help some Villador citizens in exchange for XP and various rewards. Is that throwing knives? take a look at that uh, throwing knives 10 damage throw at enemies to interrupt their attacks or use it to knock down hanging objects oh okay rags and scraps let's uh, let's craft some let's craft some of these uh, can't hurt to craft some medicine 
Uh, weapons, weapons, weapons. Okay, 15 damage, 18 damage. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's uh, throw at enemies to interrupt their attacks. Got it. Press L2 to throw it. Okay, and we can switch our item here. Let's go ahead and use our binoculars again. Old Villador Master Windmill. Master Windmill was the magnum opus of Night Runner architects. They tried to restore power to the people of the city. It took almost a year to build, but once operational, it powered most of Old Villador. It was seized by peacekeepers after the Night Runner's disillusion, and has been used to power the main terminal and quarry end since then. Yeah, we're going to be headed that way. Bandits. Got bandits close. Okay, so we got some things we can look at. Uh, what's this? Horseshoe Water Tower. I think that's like way back there. Yep. Okay, we got some bandits there. We got some bandits there. Let's go ahead and uh, clear some bandits. What are they up to? Trying to break into something. Your breath stank. You shoot me. We got Oh no. That was a waste. God. I'm trying to use medicine here. Oh my god, dude. I used my UV shroom, dude. I did not even want to put that on. That did not go well. Well, we wasted a UV shroom. We had to use healing. I didn't really get much out of that whole affair. I see a bunch of blue stuff this way. Who are these people? Survivors. Gerard was a great man. He shall now live forever in our memory. You'll remember him every time you need friendly advice, a warm word of encouragement, or even to sleep peacefully through the night. That's what Gerard was like. Always focused on others. Yeah. 
Looks like there's somebody down that they were, uh, See if I can kick this guy into the spikes. Come here. Okay, that was an instant kill. Great. Money. Something up top. Something up here. What's that over there? What the shit? Are you bad guys? Shit. Oh, fuck. Gotcha, you piece of shit. I got something for you. Let's Come on. Go. Sit down. Solid shoes. Okay. Throwing spear. Oh shit. Opportunity weapon? Alright, let's lock pick this shit. A little bit up. Rice, plain hoodie. I'm so punching your ticket, asshole. Come on. Oh. Nice. Nurse shirt. Okay. So we have a hoodie and a shirt. Let's um check out some of our clothes here. Um, chest piece for a ranger class. More parkour XP and more damage to, from ranged weapons. Okay. Let's do the hoodie. For now. Okay, let's see if we can get over to that um, that windmill there. Kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Back off, kid. Are you bad guy? I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Hey, back off. Oh, I can't, I can't take him down. Okay, I don't know if he was a bad guy. It didn't give me the option to, like, take him down. Activate the windmill. Damn, look at all this trash. Oh, I missed it. I think I have to time it right. Get on top of that. Oh boy.
I don't know if I've ever told you guys, but I really don't like heights, so... This is a little crazy for me. Okay. So I don't know if you can stealth take down humans, or if it's just the zombies. Windmills and faction structures. Activating the windmill creates a safe zone around it, which provides a resting place protected by UV light. An active windmill enables nearby abandoned structures to become faction structures. These buildings will contain merchants, well as offer new quests, challenges, and additional sources of UV light at night. The nature of the faction structure depends on who controls the surrounding area. If you have not already, you must assign the zone's facility to either peacekeeper or survivors. This will determine the people and quests you'll find in it. Okay, get off. Dude, I saw you climbing up that thing. You got the move, man. Trading post. What is this? My grandmother will put chestnuts under her mattress. Things are getting out of control. I lost my wife during the March massacre. Grandmother didn't have a sense of humor. I swear, every time I see an infected. I hope it's her. Military airdrop. Now this reminds me of State of do. Decay. Move along, please. Um, if you guys have ever played State of Decay, it has a system where you scout out territory, you get to a high point like this, and you use like your your weapon to kind of scout out the territory. Uh, which I always enjoyed. Let's see what other things we can find. That looks like a windmill. That looks like a windmill. Church. I see windmills way in the distance. Houndfield Electrical Station. Another windmill. Uh, center for stage IIV THV study. Okay, if there's no, if there's no like outline here, then that's it. If there is an outline here. Dark Hollow, night activity. Okay. Military airdrop again. Okay, we're finding we're finding some stuff here, boys. Okay, we can place waypoints too. Alright, very good. Um, now it said something like we have to assign this area, but I don't know if we know how to do that yet. That's about the only time I smile. Merchants allow you to buy craft parts, new weapons, and other items, as well as sell valuables and unwanted loot that you collect. They offer the most powerful weapons, so visit them often to increase your combat strength. You can find merchants in all the main hubs, as well as inside assigned facilities and settlements. Okay. Um sell sell all valuables 1120 let's do that um gear we can probably sell this nurse shirt i don't i don't really want it um 
I think we can we can sell that as well. We have any like really crappy weapons? 13, 13. Yeah, this is the worst weapon. Let's go ahead and sell that just to clear up some space. Uh, accessories decoys. UV bar. Throw to create a UV light that repels infected. Okay, that's good. Pack of explosives. Decoy. I feel like that's a good item. That's really cheap, too. Let's buy a decoy. Joggers. Um, temporarily reduces damage from shock. Medicine. Okay, great. Best selection. Um, is there any like quests around here? Are we good? We can rest. Wow, look at that! All the trash has been removed. It's now like a. Stocks are almost depleted. Got bad season coming. All right. Um, let's check out what that question mark is. Uh, let's check if it's actually inside here first. Anything? Broken bottle. Common opportunity weapon. Use a bottle to stagger an enemy. Press R2 to throw it. Molotov. Okay, so this will stagger an enemy. That's good to know. That doesn't look good. Some nasty infected. There's a big one. I don't know if I want to take that on right now. Um, I feel like we should unlock it just so it's marked on our map. See what's in here. Let's scavenge around a little bit. Looks like there's a chest. Now let's say I get like a couple Molotovs, then yeah, I'll take on that heavy. But as of right now, I don't really see the purpose of it. <laughs> 